Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. Yesterday, we talked about how we build a high variety salad. And today we're gonna to talk about how we build our dressings. So there's five elements that we like to add to a dressing to really make the taste buds sing and give an overall delicious, balanced, tasty dressing. <laughs> Thank you once again for joining me today. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate all your comments, your lovely words. You're awesome. Thank you for making compassionate choices and loving yourself and the planet and the animals. So today, before we begin, don't forget we've got 40% off any or all of our eBooks. If you wanna support us, that's a great way to do so. You can enjoy over 700 raw vegan oil-free recipes. The link is right here. The code is rawfood40 and you can find that also in the description box below. So how do we make our dressings? Well, there's five areas of a dressing or five elements that we look at when we are building a beautiful, delicious dressing. We start with something sweet because we're looking for calories to add to our salad so that we feel satiated and we make sure that we're eating enough. This is key. On a raw diet, it's really easy to under eat. So we have to make sure that we're getting enough energy to sustain us through the day so we aren't under eating and experiencing all the issues that come along with under eating. So we start with something sweet and this is typically dates or fruit or both. We sometimes add both. We'll do a couple dates and maybe some mangoes, a couple dates and some peaches, dried apricots, figs. These are all great options and we want to make sure we're getting enough calories in our dressing so it becomes the base of our dressing. Most of the calories are obviously coming from our fruit, our dates, our dried apricots or whatever we're adding as the base. And this is also creating the bulk of the dressing. So when you're blending six dates or you're blending three dates and two mangoes, that's going to make a good amount of dressing. And a dressing is basically just a smoothie, <laughs> a savory smoothie that you add to a salad. That's really what it is. So we start with that and you could use in season fruits like plums or you could even make an apple dressing. There are so many possibilities to make a delicious dressing and it starts with fruit, it starts with something sweet. The second thing we look at is the sour. So this could be anything from apple cider vinegar, maybe some lemon juice or lime juice. You don't need to use apple cider vinegar. You can use lemon or lime juice. It works just fine. Um, orange juice is another good one. You can also use tamarind paste, which, which gives it a little bit of a zingy kind of a sour flavor. So sour is really important in a dressing, as is the third component, which is spicy. Adding spicy to the salad dressing is so great. We love to add hot peppers or any other herbs or spices of any kind. We'll add all kinds of stuff. You could do curry, you could do dried herbs. You could add anything to give it the flavor that you want. If you're looking for something to season your taco salad, you could use chili powder and cumin and garlic and oregano if you wanted. If you wanted to do a curry style, you could use curry and turmeric and black pepper and fenugreek leaves even. You could use oregano and basil and black pepper if you wanted to do an Italian style. There are so many different options that you should be able to make some kind of a delicious dressing and just mix and match your spices and see what tastes great. The fourth thing that we add we don't add it to every single dressing, but we do add it to our evening dressings is a fat source. So for lunch, we will typically use chia seeds, add a tablespoon of chia seeds specifically for the health benefits, the fiber and the omega-3 that we get from our chia. So we do add that for our lunch dressings, but for dinner, we add any kind of fat source that we are thinking about. We could add hemp seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, cashews, almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, you name it. There's so many different things that you could add, even pine nuts too. So we'll add maybe like two or three tablespoons. If we're making a double batch, we'll add like a quarter cup because we're splitting it between the two of us. But we like to add that fat edge to a dressing to give it that extra um, emulsified flavor and the creaminess. We like to add the creaminess. Plus we're getting 
healthy fats in there as well as protein and all the other nutrients that nuts have to offer or seeds. So we will add a fat source mostly to our dinner meal. If we, again, if we do lunch, it's typically maybe a little bit of sesame seeds or chia seeds, but yeah, we do use tahini in our evening dressings as well sometimes. So there's so many options, definitely so many options. And then the fifth thing that we add is more of an aromatic or umami kind of style flavor. So miso paste we use almost every day now. We will also do sometimes a mushroom powder to give it more of a like a grounding flavor, but this could also include aromatics like onion or garlic. Adding those to your dressing can really bring like a grounding edge to the dressing. But if you leave any of these out, except for fat, you can leave the fat out, but if you leave any of the other ones out, sometimes the dressing will feel a little imbalanced. So people say, well, can I get by without using dates? Yes, you can. You'll have to use fruit, which is totally fine, but you'll be missing that sweet edge because some people want just a savory dressing. And if they, add, they think if they add sweet, it's not going to be savory, but we do need sweet in savory. Most of the dressings that you buy at the grocery store have sugar as the first ingredient so we do need a little bit of sweet we like to have that sweet edge when we are having a dressing it just balances it overall and if you leave out the spices or leave out the umami then sometimes it just feels off so I hope this helped somebody out there who might be thinking about making their own dressings start with a sweet add a sour, add your spicy, add fats if you want to, and then add your umami or your aromatics to balance out the dressing fully. And then taste it, add more of something if you feel, or change it up next time. Write it down and play around with the different combinations that you can do because really the combinations are endless. And if you want, you can enjoy over 700 raw vegan recipes. They are 40% off right now. The code is rawfood40. The link is right here or in the description box below. That's the best way to support us. You can also try out our meal planning app. It is a meal planning app web-based that you can log into on your phone or any device and it generates a five-day meal plan for you. You can add day six and seven if you want, but this meal plan, you can swap out recipes. There are different recipes in the app than there are in my eBooks. So if you were looking for something more meal planning, the app is really cool. It's $5 a month or $50 a year. Just go to rawfoodromance.com to sign up. Thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you're enjoying all of these videos because I'm enjoying filming, filming them. And we will see you tomorrow again for another video. Until then, I love you and fruit on.